breaking news welcome to today's headlines prayer for 2023 presidency nigerians lost hope as pastor kumui shocked the world revealed dangerous secret Prayer for 2023 presidency, Nigerians lost all. As Pastor Kumui shocked the world, revealed dangerous secret. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Nigeria is one of the countries where the citizens believe that once they pray to God, they can get anything they want, including God choosing a president for them. One might be forced to ask, will God coke down with his millions of angels and a permanent voter card to vote and select a good person to lead Nigeria? However, Pastor Kumuyi has cleared the year on this as he reviewed what should be done and how Nigerians can choose the next president. Prayers alone will not decide who will be the next president of Nigeria pastor. Kumuyi wants Nigerians. Prayers alone will not decide who will be the next president of Nigeria. Pastor Kumuyi wants Nigerians. As stated by Pastor William Kumuyi, founder of Deeper Christian Life Ministry, the outcome of the 2023 elections will not be decided just by prayers according to the Daily Post. The General Superintendent urged individuals to obtain a voter's identification card and to participate in the election process. Kumuyi made the advice on Wednesday in Ibadan, while speaking about the church's crusade, which is said to begin the next day. In addition to voting, the religious leader advised Christians to pray to God, to enthrone leaders who will make Nigeria a better place to live in. While we pray, we should also take action by going to the polls and voting. We must realize that we are in control of our destiny, he said. It was pointed out by Kumui that men with spiritual authority who are capable of changing the state of the country through prayer are required. Men we will stand in the gap for our nation, much like the few righteous in Sodom, who Abraham requested God take into consideration when he wanted to annihilate the nation, he said. In response to visions regarding Nigeria, he stated that some prophecy can be realized at a predetermined period while others can only be fulfilled under certain conditions, such as in the instance of Ezekiah in the Bible. According to the cleric, one can prophesy about a nation or continent, but one's prayers and faith can always influence affect the fulfillment of one's prophetic predictions. What will help Nigerians to select the next president that will bring fairness and justice to the country's leadership? The Justice and Equity Group, JEJ, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has asked for the zoning of the party's presidential ticket to the North for reasons of fairness and justice. The group said in a statement issued in Nabujal on Wednesday that the party had kept the presidency in the South for 14 years under former President Olusegun Obasanjo 
and Dr. Goodluck, Jonathan, while the North had only two years under the late President Umaru Musa Yaradua. The JEG also stated that it is in the party's best interest to stick to the next earlier decision to open the PDP presidential ticket to all zones. The organization also stated that the PDP should be able to choose its presidential candidate from any zone in the country. We believe that in the greater interest of the PDP, we should abide by the earlier PDP National Executive Committee decided that three of three open the presidential ticket of the PDP to all zones. The JEG said in response to a recent statement by Prince Kasim Afedbua, a former commissioner in Edo State and former spokesperson for Atiku Abubakar's presidential campaign. Let the best candidate win for the PDP and rectify the dreadful mess the APC has made Nigeria. It is undemocratic to ask a qualified Nigerian not to run for president, Atiku Abubakar, as had his time and chances. The PDP should be guided by winning combinations. A blanket ban on any area running for the PDP presidency is irrational, unjust, unfair, and against natural justice. It is wrong and undemocratic. The North has a better claim to the PDP ticket in 2023 than the South, than the, South the statement read. The organization slammed Afid Bua's claim that any aspirant of Northern extraction showing interest in the 2023 presidential race within the People's Democratic Party will be against the run of plea and natural justice. The group noted that politics in Nigeria is played by political parties, not interest groups, geopolitical groups, or even individuals. Parties can run candidates. Nigeria as a whole cannot run. No one from the North or South can run. Mixing the fortunes and tactics of political parties is dishonest. The statement read, Because President Buaril of the North is going to finish his eighth year in office, the APC will naturally hunt for a candidate from the South to lead it in 2023. See what Ariwa Group said about 2023 presidential candidate. The Ariwa Consultative Forum, ACF, has stated that it does not have a preferred candidate for the 2023 presidential election, according to the nation. Following the conclusion of the National Executive Committee, NEC, meeting held at the group's headquarters in Kaduna on Wednesday, the group issued some warnings to its members. The SCF which issued a severe warning to its members against endorsing anyone in its name, asserted that the forum is not a political party and that it will not endorse anyone for the presidency of the United States in 2023. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.